So Inside Out Recovery is a peer-run agency. Uh, we consist, um, our agency consists of um, three CPSWs, which is myself, Bernadette Gutierrez, Roman Sanchez, he's also our outreach coordinator, and Ronnie Flores, he also helps us with outreach and, um, and this case management here with us. Uh, services that we provide, we, um, our main focus is people that are struggling with addiction. We do, um, you know, we try to offer seeking safety groups, uh, conflict resolution. We do a lot of, um, a lot of um, um, core co-occurring disorders. Um, we, but recently, lately, I guess the population that we've been like, noticing a lot, we've been serving a lot has been the homeless. You know, it's, it's really getting bad out there. So, um, you know, we've been, uh, we do, we go out, Roman goes out, does outreach. Uh, we give them sleeping bags, especially now in the winter time that it's uh, really cold. Uh, we try to give, um, provide them with hygiene, food, clothing, things, resources uh, to, you know, help them keep them warm. Of course, their services, we don't deny anybody. Um, we um, are drop in center, you don't need to make an appointment. And um, we're basically the way, I, the way I like to put it is if we can't help you, we will find somebody that can. We try to refer people to, you know, if we can't help you here, we'll find the resources that can help you or make, try to make that connection with um, that. We work. Uh, we work very closely with Presbyterian Hospital and medically assisted treatment program. So um, getting people on Suboxone is uh, something that we do a lot, um, refer to Presbyterian. And um, I don't know, Roman. So I go do the homeless <laughs> outreach. I also work in the office. Uh, the homeless outreach consists of me going out and finding individuals that are homeless and struggling with addiction. So I'll give them a food bag hygiene and art tent and uh, try to engage them in services and, and and try to build that relationship with them out there. So some of the individuals I meet up with, I'll go out there and talk to them again because they're struggling with addiction and encourage them to come in and get services here, whether it's their ID to start off with, to get give them that little incentive to move forward and then offer them if they want to get a to get into treatment and stuff like that. I just work with them as a way it's, that it's fit to get them engaged. And then I'll offer them also conflict resolution and, and which will teach them life skills and how to cope with emotions that they're dealing with, you know, and because a lot of people out there live in their emotions, they live in fear, they live in trauma. So the only escape is the drugs and the alcohol. So, so I encourage them to, to, be creative and think positive and shut that negative side of the mind off so they can move forward in life, so they can have life skills. Because I, too, myself was homeless, and I use those skills unaware to get myself motivated to overcome my situation. And I try to do that with others and, and um, whatever it is they need and try to build trust, try to build that relationship and then send them to Berna. Berna's very good on the computer. And, and, and you know, she, we all have our skills here. We all have our strengths and we work together. Ronnie's a good too also. He's, he's good at getting things done. And all of us together, I think, are very, very effective in this community, you know, so. The way we've been handling the, the pandemic has been, uh, so we can't really do groups, unfortunately. Um, but we, we try, still but do. we still try to um, do small groups of like one or two or three people. Um, we have been meeting with people on Zoom. That's new. That was something that was new. So a lot of my clients will be like, hey, can you meet with me on Zoom? I don't have a problem with that at all. So we do that. Um, and, you know, just trying to take precaution, trying to keep our, ourselves safe as well as, you know, the community and follow CDC guidelines and um, it's been difficult um, resource wise just because I know other agencies, everybody is finding their normal, it seems like in, in this whole pandemic, you know, how every, how each agency is serving their clients 
it's it's us needing to find out who's doing what now and how they're doing it is probably very challenging because uh, okay. we have a hard time getting a hold of people sometimes but we just we don't give up you know we just keep pushing through and we, we just we do we can't take no for an answer <laughs> we try our best to make sure that we get people what they need um we're open Monday through Thursday from 9.30 to 4.30. On Mondays, we give out hygiene packs. On Thursdays, we distribute food. Um, you can get an eye can and clothing anytime during the week. Um, other resources we provide, we, you know, birth certificate, IDs, um, medically assisted treatment. Um, we offer life skills. We offer um, and individual person. And we also try to always incorporate the mission statement of just to stay clean and sober and, and to look forward to that, you know, because that's one thing that that I learned in my recovery is that my recovery is the most important thing. And if I'm trying to get other things before sobriety, it'll never, I'll never obtain it. 